what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um, you guys in this video I'm gonna simply take you through a handful of videos this is gonna be more of a video series um, they will there will be let's just call it let's call it let's call it three videos three videos in this series this will be video number one okay so this will be part one this will just be the simple setup of a custom conversion okay so a Facebook custom conversion now a Facebook custom conversion uh, first of all, let me show you how to get to the ads manager if you don't know how to get there already. Come to your Facebook page, click on ads right here to the left, and then you'll see this little window pop up. Go to ads manager. You want to be in the ads manager. Don't try to run Facebook ads from your cell phone. Um, don't even try to boost a post from your business page. Come into the ads manager and work everything out of here, okay? Um, there's just more tools. There's more There's more um, function functions. There's more There's more. There's just a, a bigger opportunity to 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 really see what you're doing and really maximize the ad platform when you run it through the ads manager. Um, there's many things you do not see when you boost a post or simply try to run this from a cell phone or try to run this from your business page. Come into the ads manager, okay? Um, you'll be able to really leverage all the all the functionalities. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna simply we have to set up a custom conversion first, okay? Now. Let me explain what a custom conversion is. Let me just kind of give you an example on um, on this page right here. Okay, let me just, this is just a, a, a perfect example. And when I talk to business owners, mainly I'm talking to real estate agents, but at the same time, because of my YouTube channel, I tend to attract a lot of different businesses. So shout out to every single one of you guys that are finding me. Um, every single one of you that are that are reaching out, looking for consulting, looking for advice, looking for for coaching on Facebook advertising or or landing pages and email automation. Now that my YouTube channel is really starting to catch some momentum, I'm meeting amazing people from all over the place, building different businesses. But what I but what I tell people all the time is that the same strategy applies when you're trying to build a business online nine out of ten times if you're a small business owner 9.999 percent out of ten times it's all about lead capture like it's all about driving someone to do a certain thing meaning meaning opt in for a certain offer right so if you're a restaurant if you're a yoga studio if you're a dentist if you're a chiropractor if you're a real estate agent if you're uh um, um um if you own a gym like if you own a flower shop anything like if you own any type of small business owner chances are you're looking for really just a couple of things you're looking to either offer the 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 visitor something something tangible something valuable if you're a coop if you're if you're a restaurant maybe you're running ads and offering a 25 percent discount off their next meal or if you're a dentist maybe you're offering a free teeth cleaning on your next visit if you're if you own a spa like and you're doing massages or facials maybe you're maybe you're offering some type of free massage or some discount off your next massage there's so many different creative and simple offers that you can entice people with in order for them to click on your ad and want to download your offer. And downloading your offer really is opting in, hitting your landing page, entering their name and email in exchange for something of value, right? A coupon, a discount code, a training video, a webinar, a presentation, a free seller guide. If you're a real estate agent, you're giving away a free buyer guide and maybe educating educating people on what it takes to buy a house, right? That's top of the funnel. You have to have some type of enticing offer in order for people to see your ad, click on your ad, or actually in order for people to want to click on your ad and, 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 and enter your world, right? Um, so I truly believe most businesses are the same. You, you're, you're all about lead capture. We're all about lead capture. We're all about giving an offer to our audience in exchange for that name and email. Because most that are building a business online, we know the, the advantage, we know the benefit, we know the leverage um, that we have when we have someone's name and email. And that's a whole other story as well. Most businesses actually don't know the advantages that they have when they build an email list. But maybe I'll, you know, do that, do that, do get, get into real details on a whole nother video about that. But it's all about capturing that email is what I'm saying, man. So if you're running an ad, hopefully you have some type of enticing offer in order for, in order to get that person's name and email. Okay. Now, when you, when you set up an actual Facebook ad, 
that's the objective, right? The objective is either that or maybe to, it, it's to make a sell. Maybe, you're, maybe you have some type of, of online website, uh, some type of online store. Maybe you have a Shopify store, right? And you're selling products. You're selling, you know, iPhone cases. You're selling hoodies. You're selling t-shirts on your Shopify store, whatever it may be, dude. Let's say, for example, that's the objective. The objective is to run an ad and get people to buy your product. Very specific objective, right? Okay. That's another person. Okay, so we got we got lead capture, people that are looking at to give away some type of online offer. And most of the time it's some type of PDF, right? Some type of training video, some type of webinar. But but if you're a traditional brick and motor business, it's very easy to put together a PDF and give that away. So when people enter their name and email, you have an email that automatically triggers with a link to download a PDF, whether it's an ebook, whether it's a coupon, whatever, right? Very, very simple. But that's person number one. And then person number two, for example, can be the type of person that's looking to drive a sell. You have a product, you're selling hats, you're selling bracelets, you're selling necklaces, whatever. Your whole objective is to drive a sell. That's person number two. And then the third person is people, those types of businesses that are looking to drive appointments. Maybe you're, you're, you're a service-based business, you're a coach, you're a consultant, you're a real estate agent, you're, 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 you're a spa owner, whatever. Like, let's say, for example, you're the third type of person where your objective running paid ads, YouTube ad, Instagram ad, Facebook ad, let's say your main objective is to capture an appointment is for people to see your ad, click on your ad, come over to your landing page, click and schedule an appointment. That's really the third type of person. So when it comes to online marketing, when it comes to direct response to marketing, it's very specific. Am I looking to capture a lead because I want to give away something of value in exchange for someone's information? Am I looking to make a sell or am I looking to get an appointment scheduled? Those are very, very specific call to actions. Those are conversions. So when you're in the Facebook ads manager, right? And you come over here again, we got here by clicking on ad. We clicked on the ads manager down here at the bottom and now we're over here. Okay. It all starts by this, by clicking on this green button. When I click on this green button, here's another, another, another main, main part that I see after speaking to thousands of business owners over the last few years on this exact topic. I would say 99.9999% get it wrong right here. This is step one. This is the basic. This is right here. If you don't know the right objective, it doesn't matter if you have the best video. It doesn't matter if you have the best image. It doesn't matter if you write the best copy, meaning you write the best ad, right? You write it out word for word on the damn ad. None of that matters. You have the right targeting. You have the right demographics. You're targeting the right interest. You're targeting the right, the right age group. You're targeting the right gender. None of that matters, dude. None of that matters if you don't get this first step right, okay? So if you don't get this first step right, the campaign objective, none of that matters, okay? And I see this time and time again where people will be running the wrong objective in hopes of doing one of those three, right? Lead capture, make a sell, schedule an appointment. Your objective is one of those three, but you're running engagement. Your objective is one of those three but because of video, you're logically thinking video views, right? <clears throat> you're doing brand awareness. You're messing around with reach, even traffic, right? If you're trying to run and capture and you're in the category of one of three, one of those three, right? If you're anywhere in the ballpark of one of those three, right? It's going to be conversions. It's conversions all day. It's conversions all day. That is a conversion. Show your ads to people most likely to take valuable actions like making a purchase or adding payment info right on your website. That payment info could be also slash name and email, right? That's conversions. Now, before you get to conversions, what you want to do, and that's why I'm calling this video one of hopefully, let's just say three, this, this, I should be able to make three videos out of, out of this series of setting up a conversion ad. That's what this is all about, these next few videos. So the next video will be out tomorrow. Um, if you're catching this later on, just check the description. The link will be down there for the next video. But watch these videos in a row because they don't make a lot of sense. This is step one, man. You got to set this part up first or you won't be capturing leads, okay? So it's conversions. That's the objective we want to we run with. 
But before we get there, we want to set up a custom conversion. So here's the deal. As I'm in the newsfeed and I'm just looking at what my friends are posting, I'm seeing what's going on, I'm seeing, you know, what everyone's commenting and I'm just scrolling through my newsfeed. Um, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad right here. So, hey, or Orca, here is a sponsored ad. There is the learn more button. Okay. Now here's the deal. When it comes to conversions, okay, when it comes to conversions, again, our objective is one of those three. Lead capture, make a sell, or schedule an appointment. We're going with conversions, okay? But here's what we have to really understand and, 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 and do first. As you, as you see this ad, right? Here's our ad. Let's just say this is our ad. There's the text. There's the image. There's the learn more button. When I click on learn more, I come straight to the landing page. That's the goal, right? The goal is to run an ad and get people to click, right? That's the click through rate. That's an, a, a metric you wanna obviously start tracking, but that's goal number one. Goal number one is to run an ad and get people to click learn more and, and, and come straight to the landing page. That's goal number one, right? Get them to the landing page. But what Facebook wants to know is they want to know your ultimate goal, okay? They want to know your ultimate goal. What is our ultimate goal, okay? And I'm referring to the two pages, your landing page, and then when I opt in, where do I go next? I go to the thank you page. So let's just kind of work with these two pages, okay? These two pages for, for this example. This is the thank you page, right? Landing page, thank you page. Facebook they want to know our ultimate goal. Our ultimate goal is to get people here. I don't want to just get people to the landing page. So as they see the ad, they click learn more, they go to the landing page. I'm not looking to just get people there, Facebook. I'm only willing to pay you if you can get me people to this page. And this is very specific. Here's the link right here. This is my custom conversion. Not only is it going to be my custom audience, which is very, very important, and that's a whole other video, but this is custom conversion, okay? I have to take this link, okay, go into Facebook and create a custom conversion. So when I go, when, so when I go and hit this conversion button and I go and run with this conversion ad, I'm going to be very specific and tell Facebook about this custom link. I'm going to tell Facebook about this custom conversion. Okay. So let me, let me take you through the real actual page that I'm going to be taking people to. I'm in a friend's account. I just sent her all of my pages, but let me grab her page. And this is her thank you page, right? This is her thank you page. So we're going to go with 10 mistakes. Thank you. Here is the link. Here is the URL. So as I grab this link right here, okay. This is what I'm telling Facebook about. I'm saying, Facebook, I need people to get to this page. Thank you. Your ebook is on the way, right? We're going to be running ads to a landing page. When they opt in, they come to this page. This is the link I need to tell Facebook about, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come into the ads manager. So before I set up the conversions, I'm going to click on these dots over here to the left. I'm going to click on events manager, okay? And always make sure you're in the right ad account because as you navigate through Facebook, a lot of the times they'll put you in a different account. They'll switch you back and forth between one, one account and the other, like up here to the top right. Like always make sure this is the right, see, perfect example, perfect example. That's not even the account I want to be in. That's not the account I even started in, right? So it's like, I got to hit this and go down to the right account. So always check this, man. Always check that because by default, they'll just throw you in the other account when you're not supposed to be in the other account, right? So now that I'm in the right account, let's double check. Perfect. Christy ads manager. Okay. We got that. Okay. So now we're in the data sources. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here, click on this, uh, uh, blue triangle, and I'm going to click on custom conversions. This is where it all starts. I'm going to come over here, click the blue button, and I'm going to no page event detected. You need to add a page view event to your pixel in order to create a custom conversion for this event. So let's make sure that our pixel is even on the page. So let's go back 
let's click on the plus sign. Actually, let's get out of here. Let's click on events manager. I could have swore the pixel was already on the page. Let's double check. Nope, no pixel on the page. Okay, let's add that real quick. See that? You see that, guys? You gotta catch, you gotta catch the certain things going on real quick. So let's go in. I'm gonna take you from the from the nitty-gritty. We're gonna go into the actual builder and we're gonna add our pixel to it real quick. Okay. This could have been a whole nother video, but I'm gonna just give you the full shebang right now. Pixel obviously needs to be added on all the pages. I thought the pixel was already on all the pages, but obviously it's not, and it's all good. I'm gonna add the pixel to the page. So here's her pixel right here, Christy's ads manager. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna hit add events from a new website, install code manually, copy code, X out. That's it. Then I'm gonna bring it over to my page, right over here, I use Karcher for everything, you guys. So if you guys are trying to do anything online, you're gonna need, you're gonna need landing page software. Most of the softwares out there run about 100 bucks a month, and it's just the landing page. I use Kartra because for a hundred bucks a month, I'm able to create all these landing pages. It also includes my email autoresponder and it also includes my online calendar. And if you're like me into building courses and selling your knowledge and packaging up everything in video membership coaching programs, I sell all that through Kartra as well. So for 99 bucks a month, I get so much more all in one software. I literally run my entire online business all through this one software. So in this case, as I bring on new clients for my social media agency, I get them on Karcher as well, and I simply help them and, and set a lot of this stuff up for them. And that's what I'm doing for Christy right now. So shout out to Christy. I come in here to the builder, I click on settings, I click on tracking code, and I'm gonna come down here and paste in my pixel. And that's it. And I'm gonna make sure, save progress. I'm going to publish live. That's the thank you page, right? That's the thank you page. What I also want to do is I want to make sure that the landing page has that pixel as well. So let's just check that real quick as well. The landing page is this one down here. Let's click on edit. Let's go into the page builder. We'll click on settings to the left, and then we'll check the tracking code. Yep, right here, pixel needs to be on there as well. That's the pixel, you guys. That's as easy as a pixel gets. That pixel needs to be on all of your pages. You have no idea on how many business owners I speak to daily, and I'll check their web pages, their landing pages, their full-blown websites. I'll check it all, dude, and there's no pixel on it. And, and even if you're not running Facebook ads right now, you still want that pixel on your pages. You still want to be creating custom audiences around those who are visiting your pages, even if you're not running ads at this moment. You still want to start collecting that data. So now that we have the pixel on the page, so look, let's test it. Right here, you can see right here in the top right, I have this Facebook pixel helper. As you can see right here, it's shaded gray. There's no pixel found on the page. I just added it. Let's refresh it. And this square should light up. Bam. That's how you know your pixels installed correctly. Okay. And that's why I have it on here. So when I'm on anyone's website, I can go to your website right now. So don't freaking try to fool me. Don't think you got game. If I go to your website right now and you, this thing don't light up, I'm going to be like, damn, what a rookie. I'm going to be like this freaking amateur talking all this smack and he doesn't even have a damn pixel on the page. Like I see that daily you guys so so this is just basic step one is making sure that that pixel now it says christy's as manager that's the name of her pixel bam so i have this up here not to not to really care who's tracking me because as i'm on anyone's website the thing will light up it'll you know show me your pixel i don't care who's tracking me at all i i use it simply to, to test my own pages right so in this case i'm testing christy's uh pixel and boom there it is there so that's good to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to refresh the ads manager. So let's refresh this just so we can get a freshie going. Um, and then let's come in here and create the audience again. And the pixel now should have, um, should have been read by Facebook. So, or the page, the pixel should have read the page now. So let's come in here. 
We're going to click on the blue triangle. We're going to go to custom conversions and now we should be good. So let's click on create custom conversion. Okay. So it's not, it's not showing just yet, but it will, it will. So um, in fact, let's, let's refresh this. Let's refresh this. Okay. Let's refresh it. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay. So no worries. It'll, re it'll read it. It'll read it soon, no matter what. So I'm going to just keep it, keep it pushing. So refresh that. Let's refresh this one last time. And if it's still showing the triangle, it doesn't matter. We, I know, I know everything's installed correctly and we're going to just keep it, keep it moving. So let's refresh this and hit it one more time and make sure we're in the right one. Chrissy's ad manager. We're in the right one. Okay, it's all good. No page view event detected. You'll need to add a page view event to your pixel in order to create a custom conversion from this event. Okay, no big deal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit category. We're gonna hit the drop down. We're going to look for lead, because this is a lead. Anyone who lands on this thank you page is a lead. This is our custom conversion. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab everything after the forward slash. Okay, I don't need the www. I don't need the HTTPS. Everything after the forward slash. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm going to paste it right there. And I'm gonna hit the drop down. So right here you see blue, make sure you hit that drop down. Okay, make sure you hit that drop down. This right here is going to be ebook leads. As easy as that ebook leads. Okay. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to click create. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit done. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to refresh the thank you page. Okay. Let's refresh the thank you page. Let's make sure that the pixel is lighting up. And now if we click on it, if we click on the pixel, thank you, thank you, thank bam, you bam, you guys see it right there. Ebook lead. That's my custom conversion. So now if I come back over here and I refresh this now, this inactive will shoot to active. You'll see a green dot. It'll say active because we we refresh the thank you page. And then now we refresh this um, ads manager page, the custom conversion page. So now we are active. So that right there, you guys, is, is, is step one, video one of this series. That's how you set up your custom conversion. Now that custom conversion is going to be around two different things. Okay. Really, 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 I mean, really four. you can create, write this down, write this down. You can create a custom conversion around. In fact, you know what? Let me, let me, let me do that right now. Let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We are going to create a custom conversion also around this page right here. But what I need to do is I need to make sure that the pixel is on the page. So a custom conversion is, is, is based on or, or built around the thank you page. That's a lead capture, right? So I come to your landing page. I opt in. I hit your thank you page. That thank you page, custom conversion. Another custom conversion can be your thank you for scheduling page. So if you're shooting for appointments, right, you're one of three. If you're shooting for appointments, I go to your calendar, I schedule an appointment, I then come to your appointment is confirmed page. Thank you for scheduling. That's why some of you that are messing around with Calendly, the free version, I don't think it takes you to a thank you, a, a complete different URL. You need to be taken, you need to be taking people to a completely different page after they schedule, okay? In Kartra, in a, any landing page software, it's a separate page. The reason why this page is so important is because it has its own URL. And that's what I need for tracking. I need to tell Facebook, hey, everyone who lands here is in a custom audience. Those are people who scheduled a call. But then also, I can build a custom conversion around everyone who lands here and start running conversion ads to get more people to land here. Right? So, this is what I want to do. Let's go back and let's grab, let's grab our, um, our pixel. Let's add it over here really quick. So let's go back to the events manager. Let's create a custom conversion. So this will be the second cu custom conversion that you can create around. 
It's the thank you for scheduling page, okay? The third custom conversion will be those that add to cart. So now if you're selling a product, okay, a physical product, you're on Shopify or whatever, any website like that, you're selling products online, right? When people purchase your product, okay, they purchase your product and then they go to a thank you for purchasing page. That is a custom conversion. So that's just like your thank you page, right? I opt in, I enter my name and email, I go to a thank you page. Very, very similar. I go to your product on Shopify, I buy your freaking hat, I then go to a thank you for purchasing page. That thank you page needs to be a custom conversion. So here is the link right here. So as you can see right now, this is the thank you for, for scheduling. Your appointment is confirmed. Right now, the pixel is now reading it, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a custom conversion. So let's X out of that. Let's hit the blue triangle. Let's go to custom conversions. And let me set up this last conversion for you guys. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here. Here is the URL. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm going to bring it down here. I'm gonna paste it in, hit the drop down. okay? Now I'm gonna to go to select your own category and now I'm looking for scheduled. Very, very simple, you guys. Very specific right here. The booking of an appointment to visit one of your locations or virtually whatever, right? So this right here, name your conversion. Scheduled appointments. Very specific. Very, very specific. Scheduled appointments. There's the pixel. Um, there's the, the, the standard event. There's the link. I'm going to hit create. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the thank you for scheduling page. I'm going to refresh this. Now, up here, we're gonna see the number three light up, which is the third one, scheduled appointments. That is my custom conversion. Now, again, what I also want out of these two pages, those who land on the thank you page, those who land on the your appointment is confirmed page, those who land on your Thank you for purchasing page, those three. And then the fourth one is those who land on your sales page. So if you're, if you're, if you're, it's what, it's what we call add to cart. So if you're selling something, I click, I then go to the sales page before I buy. I go to the sales page where there's the checkout. I go to the sales page before I enter my credit card information. I'm on the sales page. That's add to cart, right? That's a whole other page. That's a whole different URL. You can create a custom conversion around that as well. But in this case, I'm creating a custom conversion and a custom audience around the appointment and the lead. Okay, so I refresh this page. Let's go to cart. Let's go back to the ads manager. Let's refresh this. This inactive should turn to active. And now we have two custom conversions. So when I go hit the green button and set up a new ad, I'm running conversions and I'm going to run it to either one of these. Okay, I'm going to run it to either one of these and I'll split test. Maybe I'll run one to the scheduled appointments to get more appointments or I'll run, run, run one conversion ad to the ebook leads to optimize and get more leads, right? Very specific. And again, if it was a product that I sold, right, that I'm, that I'm selling, I would create the custom conversion around the thank you for purchasing page. And then when I go set up a new conversions ad, I'm running it to that page. I'm making sure that people are getting to that page. I'm optimizing for sales, right? So here's what I also want to add in closing. These are custom conversions. As I go and really go deep into it, I also want to create a custom audience. I want to create a custom audience around, in fact, you know what? I'm going to do that for, for video number two. So watch the next video. Watch the next damn video. The link will be in the description or you'll see it come up here at the end, right? That's going to be video number two. Video number two is custom audiences. Because what I also want to do is I want to, I want to take these specific links and create a custom audience. Why is that so important? Because as I go and continue to run ebook ads, I now have all these people in a custom audience, which allows me to exclude them from seeing future ads. If they've already opted in and downloaded my ebook, why do they need to keep seeing ads? They don't. So this is a custom conversion. When I go hit the green button, right? When I go hit the green button, go to ads manager, I go hit that green button, I click conversions. 
I'm going to be very specific. And those are one of the optimizations I'm shooting for, right? One of the conversions I'm shooting for. But also what I'm going to do in the next video for you is I'm going to set up a custom audience. And now I also, it's not going to happen on ad number one right away, but by the time we get to, let's just say ad number two, for sure, ad number three, we would have, we would have had some leads at that point. Now what I'm going to do as I come in and set up the conversions ad, I'm going to always exclude the lead audience. Now you have the custom conversion. That's one thing. That's what this video was all based on was setting up a custom conversion. But again, the next video is going to be on setting up a custom audience because I want to now from ad number, let's just call it ad number three and on. I always want to be able to exclude that audience. I don't need my ebook leads to keep seeing my ebook ads right? So this strategy, you guys, is, it is what it is. It applies to every freaking business out there. If you're looking to capture leads, make sales, or get appointments, it's all about conversion ads, and you got to set up your custom conversions first, okay? So get that done. Catch the next video. I'm going to take these same exact ones and create audiences, create custom audiences out of them. And that will be on the next video. All right, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. If you got any freaking value out of this, out of this damn video, please click like, man. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video over and out.